You know it's cold outside when you gotta put the camera battery in your pocket to keep it warm, otherwise the battery just dies. <sighs> it's frickin' cold out boys, frickin' cold out, and we're gonna work on the Jeep today. Well last night it was cold out and I went to go fire up the Jeep and I got a check engine light. I'm gonna assume it's an O2 sensor with a heater circuit. Let's find out what it says. Yeah, P0135, O2 heater circuit, bank one, sensor one. The only code present. I replaced the other O2 sensor, so that's why I'm assuming it's this one. Alright, so we got two O2 sensors right here. I don't know which one's for bank one or which one is for bank two, but they're both got the same plug configuration, so. We're gonna go underneath and remove the one from the upper manifold because uh, bank one sensor one is the uh, pre-cat one. And uh, we're gonna swap that out with one of these old ones technically. Technically you should change it out to a brand new one but like I said when I bought this Jeep I got the spare engine. Uh, I salvaged all the sensors and shit so it saves me a lot of money from troubleshooting this and that. Like eventually I probably will have to change it out but for the time being this is how I'm gonna fucking roll so. It's cold outside, I can see my fucking breath, so I'm gonna roll out my little piece of plastic there that I lay on and crawl underneath. We're gonna get that fucking sensor out and we're gonna go to town. Oh yeah, see what I gotta work with? Freezing cold. Alright, so in case you want to know, there's your after cat 2 sensor. And then the one way up there is your pre-cat. Right, so we're removing that first one because bank one is like on this engine cylinders one through three, bank two is four, five, six. So we gotta remove that front one up there and we're gonna swap it out with one of those used ones and see what happens. So this is the one I just pulled out. I matched up the numbers with this one. So we're gonna put some anti C's on these threads, throw this O2 sensor back in and fuck we'll be rocking. And the goddamn banging you hear in the fucking background is that road construction that's been going on for four years. You probably see me fucking bitching about it or in some of my videos. It's fucking bullshit, I tell you. Fucking bullshit. So there we go. We got some anti C's on the threads. So we want to be careful not to get it on the O2 sensor itself because there's a pretty good possibility you may fuck it up. And fuck, is it cold out? Okay, link is in progress. We're going to erase that code. Race was successful. I'm gonna go to live data now. Scroll down to the O2 sensors. Bank one, sensor one, voltage. Now if you look at the screen, bank one, sensor one voltage is bouncing around at those numbers. Bank two, sensor one is bouncing around at pretty close to the same numbers. So we know right now that the O2 sensor that I, w that I saved that was used is functionable. So that part's good. Uh, we're going to go back to the... See if there's any pending warnings. Yeah, so right now there's no warnings. Anyways, that was the video of swapping out the O2 sensor in case you get uh, sensor 1, bank 1, heater fault. If you're worried about it, you can operate the vehicle. If the heater circuit's faulted out, it just, it's not going to cause any issues. Uh, just if the O2 sensor completely failed, it's going to cause your vehicle to run rough. But your vehicle should go into a safe mode, like a pre-programmed set of parameters, so that you can still operate it, not for a long period of time, but enough to get you somewhere to get it fixed. So, if your heater circuit's gone and you're a little short on cash, don't worry about it for the time being. It's freaking cold out. I need a whiskey and rum.